Hello, so I'm here today with the new Yamaha 480 baritone. Um, so Yamaha just released a new range of baritone saxes, which is very exciting. It's the first time um, in a little while that the range has been updated. And this 480 um, is essentially kind of the student model. Um, I say that it will still cost you a fair bit of money, but it is an incredibly good sax, I would say. I've just picked this up for the first time and it is so easy to play. Um, I mean, I will confess, I'm a Selma artist. I play a Selma Series 2 baritone myself, which I absolutely love. But if I had a student that I was gonna give a saxophone to, push kind to a shove, I'd probably give them this just for the ease of playing, because um, it, it does play so easily um, across the entire range. Um, like all the Yamahas um, in this new range, it's got this new slightly smaller bell, um, and it's also had some changes to some bits of the key work, such as the palm keys, the front F key, um, and it really makes it fit nicely under the fingers. Um, it's also, of course, got the low A. Not all baritones do, but of course, the whole Yamaha range have the bottom A, um, and it's got a really nice, solid feeling bottom A key on this as well. Um, one thing we should point out, this is the only one of the baritones in the range that doesn't have engraving on it. Um, the 62 and the 82 both um, have engraving on them. And we have done videos on those two saxes as well, so you can check those out um, if you want to compare. I mean, this sax, as you heard, kind of, they did a kind of classical clip on it at the beginning, but of course it's perfectly happy um, in any genre. It will play jazz perfectly happily. If you're, say, a student playing in wind bands and things, this would be kind of the perfect instrument for that. Um, I'll just give you a bit more of the blow on it. It's kind of... So you can hear it's a really versatile instrument. Um, I'd have absolutely no problem recommending this um, to many people, kind of students, or even a professional who doesn't want, quite want to make the investment in the 62, because it is quite a lot more money. Um, one final thing I, I should have mentioned as well um, is that the 480 and the 62 um, both have um, a fitting in the bottom that you can put a spike in. Um, the spikes are sold separately, but again, if you're going to be playing sitting down for a long time, that can be a really nice way of taking the weight off. Um, kind of linked into that, Yamaha have actually slightly repositioned the sling hook um, on all these instruments, and it does feel a very natural playing position. Um, I mentioned this 480 and the 62, we've got the the kind of the holder um, where you can insert the spike. If you did go for the 82, which is kind of the absolutely top of the range, then the spike is included um, with that one. Um, but overall, yeah, this is an absolutely brilliant addition um, to the baritone saxophone range. Um, and yeah, if you get a chance, try them out, see what you think. Um, but I'll just play you a little bit more. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 